Happy Monday, everyone. This is the Freedom Club Podcast, and I am your host, Kurt Mercadante. Thank you so much for being here. And by the way, if you are listening to this podcast on a day other than Monday, which is the day this podcast is airing, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday, happy Thursday. Thank God it's whatever day it is, because if you are not fulfilled every single day of the week, you need to make a change in your life. Life is too short only to live for nights, weekends, Fridays, whatever it is. And that's what this podcast is all about. It's about living a life of freedom and fulfillment. It's about breaking free from your comfort zone of misery, where you sit playing defense all the time when you focus on just scraping together the scraps to get by, when you're surviving instead of thriving. So thank you so much for being here. And if you listen to this podcast week after week after week, and you nod your head in agreement, but you don't make a change, I got to ask you, how much longer are you going to live your life that way, merely surviving instead of thriving? Are you ready to design your lifestyle once and for all, or are you going to continue to marinate in this comfort zone? I urge you today, make today the day you make a positive change. Now, on today's episode, it's taken from a live stream I did in the Freedom Club community. And again, I'm going to urge you, if you are not a member of the Freedom Club community, yet you are a regular listener of this podcast, the hell are you thinking? Go to Facebook right now. Type in Freedom Club community. You'll see my ugly mug. Click on it. Answer a few questions. Come in the community. You'll be able to participate in live streams like the one you listen to today. I also live stream most, almost all, of the interviews I do with our Wednesday podcast interview guests. You could participate in those live. That's not the only reason. We have a ton of great content. Members do live streams on Fridays. People are helping people. It is a growing community of superheroes just like you. We need you there. So go over to Facebook and join the Freedom Club community. In today's episode, I answer a question from one of our members, Ryan, who talks about superpowers and the need for all of us at times, to replenish those superpowers. How do we do it? How do I do it? What tips do I have to help you replenish your superpowers when maybe they feel a little bit drained? That's the question I answer in today's episode. So without further delay, here it is. I hope you get great value from this. And if you have any questions on this or any other episodes, please feel free. Visit my website. Send a message to me. Join our Facebook group. Find me on Facebook, my personal profile. Send me a message there, LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever, because my mission in life is to help you. Welcome to the Freedom Club Podcast, where we strive to pull you out of your life of quiet desperation, out of your comfort zone of misery, and propel you into a life of freedom and fulfillment. And now, here's your host for this journey, international speaker and coach, and serial entrepreneur, Kurt Mercadante. And Ryan says, our powers have limits, and many of us push those limits daily. What do you do to replenish and recharge your superpowers? Ryan, you're absolutely correct. Protecting our energy is so important. I kind of had a shitty day today. I had to deal with some things that I didn't want to deal with. Now, I had to deal with them, right? Some of them were work-related. And on those days, yeah, you want to focus on your outcomes. By the way, I got my three outcomes for the day done but I had to spend my time dealing with some other shit, right? Stuff is going to happen in your day. That's why having that clear vision is absolutely so important so that when you get knocked off your path, listen, people are going to get sick. People are going to die. You're going to have shit happen at work, shit happen at home. It's going to happen. But when you have that clear vision, you know where you're going, you know where you want to go, and you reverse engineer it so that you have those clear outcomes yeah, you're going to face challenges, but when you get knocked on your ass, it's easier to get up, get back on the path, and know exactly where you're going and keep moving forward. Now, in terms of superpowers, you know, there's a number of ways I recharge my superpowers. First of all, I reject the notion that be, to be successful in business and life, you have to grind. I see people on LinkedIn posting videos and pictures of how this is what entrepreneurship is about, and they're sleeping in their office, and we work. Oh, sleep when you're dead, the hustling grind porn. Screw that. 
And so many people think that's the case. And you know what? They grind themselves into the ground. And then it's impossible to replenish and recharge their superpowers. By the way, the way that they're working, which isn't actually productive, it's just getting more and more shit done and piling it on. They're certainly not working within their superpowers. Because if you're working within your superpowers correctly, you're delegating your weaknesses, you're managing your weaknesses, you're outsourcing, you're hiring. In the past on this podcast, in this live stream, I've talked about the fact that there are so many people, not just entrepreneurs, but so many people who refuse to invest in themselves, to invest in help. Am I talking about coaching? Absolutely. I talk to people every day who struggle and they've been struggling and they'll sit there for years until they're broke or in debt and then they go and hire a coach. They should have hired a coach when they actually needed a coach. But I know people, there's people, and you all know them, right? They'll buy a flat screen TV and a new car, but they will not pay. They will not go to a doctor because they have a $500 copay and they'll say they can't afford it. But you know what? That new flat screen's hanging on their TV. They're driving the new car because it's a matter of needs instead of wants. So I've digressed a little bit, but my point is this. When you are working within your superpowers and correctly working within your superpowers and focusing on amplifying them instead of doing what society, you know, the, the, the number one development system in society is called deficit-based development. It's number one. It's most popular. Teachers, workplaces, coaches on the field, you know, on the court. And that's focus on your weaknesses. I recently interviewed here in the Freedom Club community and on the podcast, Jessica Cox, the first armless pilot in history. She was born without arms. She can't try to grow new arms. And in fact, she tried to use prosthetics and it didn't come naturally to her. She was born without arms. So she uses the strengths and the superpowers that she has. She uses her legs. Now, I'm sure there's some people who are like, why don't you just use the prosthetic? Because that's the mindset we have. Focus on fixing your weaknesses. Gallup has studied parents. 77% of parents think that their kids should focus mostly on the subjects in which they perform worst. They don't want to have discussions about the A and the B. They talk about the D and the C. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have discussions about those topics C, D, whatever. I mean, we can have a whole separate topic about whether or not all the subjects we're expected to, to study in school are, are useless or not. But the fact of the matter is, we really want to talk about the failures. What do I got to fix? What do I do worst, right? Think about those performance reviews that you have at your toxic job. There's a few lines, a few throwaway lines. You come in with a smiling face. You come in on time. And then there's four pages of everything you do wrong and need to work on to get better. Now, some of it they do to justify not giving you a raise, but a lot of it has to do with what we're taught, with what we're conditioned for. It's called deficit-based development. So if you're truly working within your superpower zone, things are coming more naturally. You need to replenish and recharge less frequently because you're not grinding yourself into the ground. But that being said, you know, Ryan, you do have to replenish and recharge them. And that's, where the rest, you know, unleashing your superpowers is the first pillar, the first of five pillars of the freedom lifestyle. It's number one. Because we want you to get in that state, in that zone, right? Of investing in your talents, turning them into strengths, and then combining your strengths with your knowledge, your skills, your passion, your love, your experience, the things you know. And when you do that, you turn them into full-blown superpowers. That's the first pillar. But that alone won't get you there. Because then you have to have that clear vision, that clear vision for your life, that destination, that desired outcome. Then you have to design your lifestyle. Something I do in our Freedom Club Accelerator and my coaching uh, groups, it's a very simple activity, but it's one of the most difficult activities for so many people. And I ask them to grab a pen and a piece of paper, or you can type it on your computer, whatever. I say, I want you to clearly define, write down on one page, what you want, what you want, not what you think you're supposed to write down, not to think what's responsible or practical. 
how do you really want your lifestyle to look in one year? And how do you want to look in five years? So many people can't do that because we're conditioned to think responsible, practical, pragmatic, instead of what do we actually want to do? So it's defining that lifestyle that meets the vision that you want, that gets you into your superpower zone. And then look at what alignment, not balance, work-life balance is total bullshit, right? Because there's not work over here and life over here. There's just life. And it's aligning your family, self, and work. So you define your vision. You define what your lifestyle, what you want it to look like. You define what alignment looks like with that lifestyle. And then you reverse engineer it to create key outcomes for every day, every week, every month, every year. When you do that, you're flowing, right? You get in that state of flow. And so all of that helps you to recharge and replenish your superpowers. Because when you get knocked down and when your superpower battery (laughs) wears down, you're not grinding all day. You've built alignment into your life. So you can go hang out with your kids, your wife, your loved ones, your husband, whatever. You don't have to worry. You don't feel guilty about taking paid time off. Ryan, who asked this question, I know as an entrepreneur, and as an entrepreneur, I had built a prison. I, you know, I'll tell you this before, and I think I've said it here. I used to feel guilty about taking a shower or taking a shit. Because I had a client who would call me only when I did those two things. And it got to the point that I got so paranoid that I owned my own company, which I had started to have my own freedom and I built my own prison. That's when your superpowers get worn down day after day after day. So it's not just about superpowers. It's about combining, getting in that superpower zone, defining your vision, defining what you want your lifestyle to look like in a way that's aligned for you, reverse engineering it all to create key outcomes for every day, not 30 things a bullshit, a pile of bullshit every day to get done. Three things you need to get done. And the cumulative effect of all those is get, getting in a state of flow where you're not grinding your wheels and running down your battery. And when you live in the freedom lifestyle, there is plenty of room to take that afternoon off, to go to the beach, to go hiking, to do whatever you want and not feel guilty about it, to replenish your superpowers. You know, one of my superpowers is intellection. I need that hour a day just to sit and think and ponder. That helps me replenish my superpowers. But depending on what your individual superpowers are, it might be different for you. That's the very nature of superpowers, right? Superman, if you watch Man of Steel, when he was down, right? The sun, that's how he replenished his superpowers. Remember in Batman versus Superman, he got hit with a nuclear blast. It took the sun to bring him back. That was his. You got to find yours. But if you're living within the freedom lifestyle and living according to the five pillars, you've kind of built in a self-recharging system. So I hope that answers your question. 